Geesh Productions presents a very special item. Well, guess what? Guess what this is? This is the Ampex Micro 24. Yep, the well-known and classic Ampex Micro 24 has to use an external mic because this has no internal mic. Well, let's see how things go. This is automatic level control. And now, it's set to manual level control. Shut the levels like it's pretty good, pretty high. Shut the level a little lower, place, a little bit lower, 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 no, lower, lower. Now the level is really low, so it's not going to overdrive. If I speak right up to the mic. Automatic level control again. Let's just wait for the level to build up. Now I'm speaking at the normal thing. This thing is picking up, it picks up really good. This is the meter. It likes to go very good on this machine. I'll see how this comes out. I apologize for me moving it around in such odd ways. The separate screen view he makes every way I move it is the wrong way. Some more good shots of the Ampex Micro 24. It's a very ni nice recorder. Auto and manual level control. The VU meter fluctuates on record and goes to the red on, on playback to monitor battery. Stop, fast forward, play, rewind, record, you need to pop the cassette out so you can easily just grab it like that. Take it right out. On the inside, if it's ejected, you can't push play down all the way from the interlock. Although rewind and fast forward will go down. When it's closed, you can push it all the way. And the amplifier works very nicely with no leaky capacitors. AC or battery, 6 volt DC external speaker, line in, line out, remote, and mic. AC cord storage, and a battery compartment that uses 5 D sized batteries. Ampex Micro 24 consumer electronic equipment, whatever division stuff stuff on there. Although Ampex is an American company, this is manufactured to me uh, in the Japan, manufactured to Ampex specs in Japan. You can see the speaker inside. Speaking of inside, here's the Ampex. Here's the inside of the Ampex Micro 24. Um, the speaker is made by Sharp. 8 ohm, 2 watts. There's a switch here to switch if the switch is switched to the other position, you can recharge rechargeable batteries while it's plugged in. So you can put rechargeable, like my cats in here, and recharge them by this thing's power supply. Transformers obviously inside there. The motor, the belt, this the clutch mechanism to turn the take-up reel, flywheel, and the rewind and fast-forward wheel. For that, I put, uh, you know, you get braces and it has little rubber bands. I put one of those rubber bands around one of these things to make the diameter and have more traction on that little belt because it didn't have no traction, of course, but a belt that was more tight on here. The original one was kind of loose, but it did manage to work just for one to fast forward. Not that great. Counter belts. High quality AC bias circuitry on the inside. Five inch speaker. Really nice units. And there it operates. And of course, you want to fast forward. Turn that little belt thing right there as well. Now, um, this was now the following was um was band practice. Whenever I was in the ninth grade, I played in the band at school. And here's some practice, recorded with this unit using a high quality Sony condenser microphone. And it came out very good.
two, one, two, ready, and. from a YouTube video to this unit to bring honor for the cassette tape format. enjoyed the video of this fantastic tape recorder which is probably 